Welcome to Sharing Your Vision. My name is Elaine Enriquez, and it's just wonderful to have you all there connected. We have a very special program for you. PFC Ministry is in the house, and we have with us two wonderful men of God, Desmond and Hafed. How are you? Thank you so much for being with us uh, during this time that we can share your ministry. I've had the pleasure and I've had the joy to enjoy your music, but now the audience and all our followers through social media will be able to do that as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're happy. We're happy to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. Yes. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yourselves. We can start with Desmond. Okay. Um, I'm, uh, I love God and I'm also um, a writer, a professor at an institution. So I, I teach um, I, I, um, and I direct a program here in, in the United States um, at an institution as much as even doing what we do as serving God, producing, releasing songs that are blessing the lives of so many people across the globe and doing that in partnership even with my brother, Hafet. My name is Jafet Lora from Puerto Rico in the Caribbean. Um, and I'm honored to be part of this project. Um, we probably don't go to the same church, um, but as an invited guest to this project, I feel like I'm part of PFC. <laughs> so, yeah, so I've, I've been in music my whole life. Um, I, I'm a PK, I'm a pastor's kid. Um, so from early stages, I've been involved in church and, and in ministry and, and to see um, God's um, f fulfillment of his word over my life um, through Desmond and Pastor Dominic and PFC and my own church, Lakewood Church, where I serve. Um, and work, um, it's just an honor and a blessing. So I'm honored to be here with you. Elaine, thank you for opening your doors. <laughs> thank you guys, I'm celebrating with you. Thank you for inviting us as well to this beautiful ministry. I've enjoyed the music. Tell me a little bit about what you do within the ministry so everyone can get to know everything about you possible. <laughs> Okay, so, so PFC, um, Praise Fellowship Church, is actually located in Houston, and um, and it, our pastor is Pastor um, Dominic Dumfrey, Dumfrey, pa um, the lead pastor, and his wife. We're actually, um, PFC Worship is an arm of that ministry, but actually with a global mandate. So we have both creatives, producers, writers um, from just many nations that are we're working together. Remember, the body of Christ, we are all one. So that's the beautiful joy of just reminding ourselves collectively of how God has put us together to serve each other, and then to be able to, in unity, share the message of the gospel so that people from all nations, tribes, and tongues could really enjoy. And then when we get to heaven, it wouldn't look, it wouldn't, we wouldn't be surprised when we get to sing together because we've already started rehearsing here on earth. So it's like where um, PFC worship almost becomes this um, um, earthly rehearsal for what's going to be happening in heaven. And it's a beautiful um, joy to be able to see how many lives have already been blessed and impacted by the songs, by the music, and just by the message of the gospel in just this beautiful, unique way. Yep, that's that's a that's a perfect answer. I don't I don't know what to, I don't know what to add to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm enjoying this so much. We're gonna move into the music. Abba Padre is in Spanish, but you've also ministered in English, perhaps maybe even introduced it in English, and now you're moving into the Spanish realm. How does it feel? Uh, is everybody ready for this? Is something that you've been looking forward. I love uh, Spanish and English as well, musically. But tell me about your experience. First, let me start by saying that I am. I was so thrilled to just, um, when I heard Hafet's rendition, when I heard his own performance, I was like, 
I was over the moon with in awe. I was like, wait, what just happened when he recorded it in, in Spanish? And not only was it just beautiful, it was powerful. The message was crystal clear and it was I mean, it was really profound. So it started off in, um, I wrote it in English, right? And with one line in my native language. And then I gave it, um, it um, to ca um, a capable hand, Hafet, and he took it home from there. So I'll turn it yeah. over to Hafet to go on. Yeah. So it's, it's, it was a process. I think, I think the beautiful part of this is that. Um, from the original lyric that Desmond wrote based on um, Galatians um, um, chapter 4 verse 6 um, I think I think it hit me I don't think I know it hit me first and it was a blessing to me first so when I was able to transpose the whole thing into Spanish um, it, it was it was easy um, based on the fact that the, the the lyric and the music and, and and what Desmond was doing in English it just it just blessed my life so much that it was easy to transpose because I because I was eating from it um, mm. so it was it was just it was just a beautiful experience of of singing this beautiful song in Spanish which is which is a prayer I think I feel it I feel it's yeah. a prayer um, a prayer of a cry out as the song says right it's a cry out to to our dad to our father to 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 that person that will always be there to that to that person and entity that will always 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 be there not only standing but accepting us so mm -hmm. it's it's mm -hmm. just a beautiful it's just a beautiful a beautiful experience mm -hmm. I mean, I'm experiencing how you guys are opening your hearts and it's just a spiritual movement. The, the Holy Spirit is among us here and I'm sure that the audience and everyone else that's going to have the opportunity to see this program and get to know you uh, outside of uh, the ministry, but rather in the ministry, but as a moment of each one of you sharing. And I just feel the presence of God in a very special way. So I am saying to myself, what is happening here? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I think, I think one of the, what, I'm sorry. I think I, one of the, you were talking, um, Elaine, and, and Desmond was answering the, uh, one of the questions that you made, the last one. And I was just thinking, wow, like, this is for real. Um, and this is, this is going to blow your mind, Desmond, because I never, I've never said this before, like, this is for real a, play, a praise fellowship. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> wow. We, we don't we don't go to the same church. We don't we don't like Desmond is right now is all like up north United States and I'm here in Houston and the church is based in Houston and our ministries are way um, probably separate. Um, but this is it, it, it's it's beautiful that we honor in the church name praise yeah. fellowship. Yeah, because um, we we coming into fellowship and we we are creating this bond. Wow, um, um, inside praising God. Yeah, um, so it's it's just it's I, it's beautiful. I'm, wow. I'm, I'm honored to be part of it. I'm wow. more so honored to be sharing this space this time with both of you, and this beautiful beautiful music that I've enjoyed. Every time I prepare this for it to occur, which is to, for me, it's not an interview. It's more like meeting my fellow brothers and sisters around the world. And we're sharing the gospel. We're doing God's work. And it's just amazing what God does. It just makes you feel wonderful. And mm. this moment, I must bring to conversation, how does it feel when you minister, when you have that moment that everybody's put together and you start to minister to the Lord and minister to God's people, how, how does that feel in those moments that are so precious? Personally, I, I, am, I am overjoyed by every opportunity to do in public what I am encountering in private. Because for me, 
the the experience in public is it's nothing more than just a tangible taste of even what what I'm encountering in my private time of devotion. It's like, hey guys, this is what I'm enjoying in private, the goodness of God. And to share that with people through song, to be able to, um, um, for the sounds, for the songs, for what is happening in the moment in public to resonate tangibly with people is quite powerful. It's almost as though God is saying to us that his presence is going with us because he's aware that we are um, honoring him even in our private devotion. You see what I'm saying? Like in our in our space, in wherever we are. And then he goes with us and in public, tangibly, we're able to encounter God's goodness. Perhaps lives that are transformed, healings that are taking place. I mean, we, we get to hear from people even via the virtual world. You know how we're all virtual now. Via virtual experience, the testimonies of people who, through what God is doing through the ministry there, People are coming back to, I'm um, returning back. Their hearts are returning back to God. And more, more also, there's a hunger, a hunger. The Bible reminds us of the fact that, I mean, um, he tells us in the book of James, the whole idea of drawing near to me and I'll draw near to you. So this theme, it's like there's this fresh revival and a hunger birthing in the hearts of people now that is just amazing and also overwhelming and to see that tangibly felt during every ministration i mean there are no words like there are no words imagine encountering goodness to the to the point that you are overwhelmed that's just powerful so i'm i'm honored i'm just i'm delighted as you can see i'm lost for words <clears throat> most definitely most definitely half head you know what? Let me tell you something, Elaine. I love Desmond so much because every time we speak, he throws lines like those, like he just did. And I'm just <laughs> speechless. I don't have nothing to that. Because it's like we're connected. It's like we're connected in our mind. And, and I would say exactly the same thing. And he just said it. It's like, man, this, this guy doesn't let me talk. <laughs> but it's beautiful. No, he says he says exactly what I would say on, on, a, on a moment like that, and, and it's just like this is so. Okay, then. I can Go ahead. I can understand. I, I don't think I would have <laughs> more words either. <laughs> yeah, no, that's it's okay. amazing. If I, if, I add, if I add something, it will, it will go to trash. Like, oh, oh but it's so wonderful. It. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Praise crescendo. It's another one of your songs. I would love to hear everything about it that you'd love to share with us praise crescendo it's one of those one of those songs that that you say what i love about desmond writing and what i love about the um, praise fellowship spirit is that they are bringing a fresh sound i think i think like for a moment like this where everything everything sounds alike um praise fellowship is bringing and, and god is giving this one like a unique voice of, of worship um where he is bringing um classical music with worship and with praise and 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 and, and mixing um different styles of music and and doing things just and, and all of a sudden yeah, you're over here like just in awe with the strings and all of a sudden there's a there's a gospel um line <laughs> and, and syncopation and and it's like oh like well, what's this what's going on um so it's so fresh like for for me as a musician and as a right as a performer like it's so fresh and and then on top of that on top of that music um um you add the lyrics which I've been saying since day one, since I met Desmond and I met Pastor Dominic, I've been saying, um, this is like, this is like opening the Bible and just singing them lines, like, because it's you just singing the word, and 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 something special happens every time um, when we have the opportunity to express the word of God, because mm. um, mm. there, because there's life in it, there's yeah. life in it, yeah. there's power yeah. in it. Um, so we're not just singing PFC Praise Fellowship, which which I love that name, um, Desmond Praise Fellowship. Um, 
um, it's not only singing songs. It's that they're singing the word. Yes. And, yeah. I, and I think, and I think, I think that's praise crescendo is inside of that. Um, it's fresh. He, he's using, he's using. I would never imagine that a song would be named Praise Crescendo. <laughs> I know. That's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. That's why I wanted that's you to like, tell us all about it. <laughs> that's like the but last it's beautiful. Name. That's, that's like the last name I would use for a song. And Desmond said, yep, that's, this is the name, Praise Crescendo. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So when I hear the song and, 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 and you hear the arrangement and you, and you hear the lyric, you understand that the crescendo on the music is something that it goes up on an exponential um it's an it's, it's kind of an exponential situation so it, yeah. it starts and then it grows and grows and grows and grows and grows and grows and it never stops growing um, um until there's like a like a maximum epic situation so the song is trying to say we are gonna give you a praise crescendo Mm -hmm. We're gonna mm -hmm. start. We're gonna start at a certain point, but we're not gonna ever finish because wow. wow. it's gonna go on crescendo uh, like the whole time. It's not mm -hmm. about volume. Mm -hmm. It's not about. It's not about volume. It's about intention. It's about. It's wow. about. It's about. It's about um, that we we start on the process of being Christians and of being worshippers, and we start at a certain point. And it grows and grows and grows mm. and grows and grows um, to God's purpose. So, praise crescendo. <laughs> wow. Wow. I, I don't know what to say, Hafez. I think you just said it like that. <laughs> you, just, you just took the words right out of my mouth. But yeah. if I may add a couple of cents into that, just a couple more words. I, I, that's exactly, um, f for me, right, I, I, um, the more I write, it, it's... The, the 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 sounds or themes or texts come from um, meditation on the truth about who God is and what He is to us. I'm not just. I mean, oftentimes I tell um, um, songwriters that um, we're writing not just what we know, but what needs to be known. Yeah. What we know could be a lie, but what needs to be known is the truth, because it's the truth that will set people free. So we're just not writing, we're not just writing feelings, we are writing truth, because that is what would set people free. And to 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 think about the fact that when we get to heaven, we will join with the angels who are already singing, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. We are already doing it right here, right? So we, and, and Apostle Paul talks about that I might know him in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, right? To be conformed to him, that I might. So the more you're getting to know God, the more it's like this, the more you're knowing him, you're giving yourself, it's growing, as Hafez says, it keeps growing, it keeps growing, and it keeps on growing. I mean, people from all works of life, crescendo of praise, growing with intensity, a heart offered to God. Because you come in as a Christian, you begin to know him more, our hearts grows, our hearts are yearning, longing, 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 longing. It gets bigger and bigger, and you're pouring that to God. And so people from all works of life, imagine singing this one hallelujah to the king. And then when we get to heaven, we're joining with the angel it's going to be a it's going to be a huge crescendo i mean yeah. i i'm talking about a massive crescendo of praise because i deal with orchestras so i know what a crescendo is in terms of like orchestral sound now imagine lives offered to god to the one true king in praise oh my gosh i it's amazing it, it it's, yeah. it's 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 glorious let's talk about another song that has made an impact season of more so it, it's it's um, before I, I I would allow her fetch to tell us a little bit more in terms of even his translation in in Spanish because uh, if I'm allowed to say he killed it but um, um, if you understand <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll talk about how the song came to be and I'm, I've I've already mentioned our pastor Pastor Dominic Dumfrey a phenomenal man of God who I mean everybody should get to meet he just 
he loves God and he loves people and just loves making sure their lives are blessed by the message of the gospel. So he got this word early on in the year from the book of, I believe, um, Genesis chapter 26, verse 12, where he talked about that Isaac sowed in the land. And in that year, he reaped a hundredfold or like he reaped a lot in, in that particular year. And that was a, um, a sermon or message that dropped in his year, in his heart prophetically for this particular year, right? And the theme being the season of war, because we've just come from a, we're in this global pandemic and it's been very try, um, trying for so many people, right? I mean, on, on a huge scale. And for God to say like, this is a season where even all that you've, you've sown for goodness and all, that God is going to be able to, um, there'll be great multiplication, God's favor, um, open doors and all of that stuff. And through that, he, he gives me a call and says, hey, hey Desmond, here's a theme, a word that God dropped in my spirit. And once he did that, he was like, okay, you have to get to work on it. So I got to work on writing in that process. And that was the line that come, came to my mind. In English, it's the line that... Um, this is the season of more favor is pouring down, miracles are happening, and your presence is all around. Because where God's presence is, miracles are going to happen. There'll be favor, right? There'll be there'll be um, transformation because that's how he, we, he invites us to pray, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth. So through that, the theme, the whole lyric is, it's filled with this theme of God's goodness, the dawn of a new day. I believe people are anticipating this new dawn, even outside of this um, pandemic, a new dawn for God's favor, for God's breakthrough to happen. And that's how we got the song in English. And then we're now recording it in Spanish, where it's about to be released soon. And then Hafez is doing his is amazing, the, amazing is thing. This the first song. The first song Desmond is going to sing in Spanish ever. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I so we, in made it, we made him sing in Spanish, and I know it's going to be a blessing to our Hispanic family. Um, I feel Season of More talks about revival. Mm. Um, mm. And, and there's something interesting. Like, we always, as a church and as, as God people, we always... Um, have that word in our in our mouth like we need we want a revival we want we want revival and a revival and revival but we never go through the thinking process that a revival requires death mm. Mm. Um, and it had a, 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 a death situation has to happen in order to for us to be um, to revive and, and for to be like revived by, by God. Um, so revival requires that. And it's very interesting, um, at least for me, that this song is born in the midst of the pandemic, as Desmond says, um, which which could represent that death process um, and, and the perfect scenario um, to God, uh, for God to manifest his glory in all of his splendor. Um, so season of more, it's just a reminder that God's favor, it's upon us. It don't matter the circumstance. It don't matter where where, where you at right now, season of more. We'll, we'll, we'll tell you, you know what? There's a word of God. There's a promise that will come to to, to a conclusion in your life. Um, it, will, it will come to, it, it will happen. Because um, this is the season of more this revival right now. Um, nothing that dies in front of the Almighty God will keep will keep being dead. It will it will revive. Um, so I'm talking about dreams that probably died. I'm talking about um, 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 relationships that probably died. I'm talking about. Um, 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 sickness that's probably in your body. I'm talking about every single scenario that you could probably think mm -hmm. this is the season of more. This is the moment of revival in your life. Mm -hmm. This is the moment where um, the promise of God will come to pass. Will come to pass. Amen. Desmond Hafed, both two wonderful men of God. It's been a pleasure. It's been an honor 
for us uh, to share this time with the audience. Now, like all good things, come to an end. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but it will not be the final time we'll be together. We will definitely meet again. I do want you to return, come back every time you have a new song, every time you have anything that you want to share with our audience. You're part of our family. Thank you so Thank much, you so much. Uh, for you. embracing us as well. I also would like to give you this opportunity to share anything about uh, where we can find your music outside of OVM Radio, because it's here, <laughs> and I'm so pleased. And anything else you'd like to share? Perfect. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> oh, I mean, you could actually find, um, of course, on all um, the streaming platforms. The music is available on all streaming platforms. Uh, also on YouTube, so that's YouTube, um, Amazon Music, Deezer, um, Spotify, Apple Music, and all. You'll find all of the music there. You could actually also as, um, find us on all of the um, social media platforms. That's Facebook, Instagram. For me, it's going to be um, Desmond Ikeguanu on, and, and you find me on Instagram. For Hafet, it's Hafet Laura. And then you're going to also find us on, our, of course, our YouTube pages. And then for PFC Worship, it's going to be PFC Worship. And you're going to be able to um, find us on Instagram to be able to follow us on all of the amazing things God is doing um, through the ministry. And could I just say one more thing before we go on? Elaine, you're doing a phenomenal job. And we're so thankful and delighted to be able to join in and just to be able to, I mean, I could hear your heart from this interview and I'm so thrilled. I'm going to say to everybody, yeah. please keep listening to OVM radio. Woo! I think I said that correct. <laughs> please listen. Yes, There's yes. a powerful message going on here and God is doing something in this ministry. Amen. Wow. Thank you so much, Desmond. You've yeah. touched my heart. I'm going to send you a big hug and a kiss to both of you. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you so God. much. Receive right here. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Have fed you want to say something? Well, I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity. Thank you for the uh, people of OVM and the people that's going to look at us um, on the web. So like, I, we, we actually pray that these songs are a blessing to you guys. And these songs um, touch the very um, deep part of your heart. Um, and make a change in your life. I know I know these are probably tough times that we um, have lived in the past year and, and we're probably living right now, but God has everything under control. And that is what we're trying to say, you know, this song. So as part of Praise Fellowship, we just want to say thank you to every one of y'all. And, and we're going to see you back soon because we yes. have more, more songs to come. Yeah. And this year, this year is going to be a great year for us. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Thank you for staying with us. What an amazing program. What an amazing two men of God. The music just touches you deeply. And God does work in our lives in a way that we just don't expect. But when praise and worship of this nature comes to our ears, it's just powerful, powerful. And I'm so blessed and so thankful to God for this opportunity to share with these two wonderful men of God and to share with you as well. I want to bless you today. Take this opportunity to tell you that we love you. Thank you so much. Because of you, we are able to do what we do every week. I don't want to get too emotional, but, but I'm very thankful in my heart. And I thank God for all the gifts and all the promises fulfilled. And what he does with us, he'll do with you as well. Just have faith. You can visit us at our social media outlets. You'll know more about uh, PFC Ministry, Desmond and Hafed. And also they'll be in our website. You'll be able to read more about their ministry than what we shared during the time here uh, in this uh, specific program. Thank you so much. God bless you, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.